represent opportunity. But truly, opportunity is always there, peeking around the corner, looking to reveal itself to someone. And if that person is prepared, their life could be completely altered in one Highlights never capture the setbacks, hard work, and heartache. Only the good times. But it's those moments that make Quinn Cook to the player he is today. Hello everybody, I'm Mark Jones. Coming up over the next couple of days, we'll have eight hours of continuous coverage on ESPN2. The 2015 the NBA Combine is where our story begins. Quinn went to the NBA Combine as a highly decorated player, earning the Washington Post All-Met Player of the Year Award. He was also a 2011 McDonald's All-American. Before the Combine, Quinn had just graduated from Duke and had just finished winning the NCAA Championship. You know, it's been so fast. I mean, you know, getting ready for this process, and you know, I didn't take any time off. The fact that we're national champions it hasn't hit me all the way yet. I think when it when we get the rings, I think it all hit us. But you know, it's something that that we worked all year for, and, and it's a blessing to be a national champion. You know, is, is undescribable. But unfortunately, even with all his accomplishments and effort, he went unnoticed and was undrafted. The decision had to be made to either go overseas or stay in the U.S. He chose to stay home and took his chances with the NBA G League, the official minor league of the NBA. When he made his decision, it forced him to go back and look to his roots for inspiration. My work ethic comes from my family. I was just lucky enough to have two parents that instilled work ethic in me. We moved from D.C., a little house, to you know, Maryland, to a subpar house, and then to a big house. So I saw the work that you know, my dad and my mom put in. Then my freshman year, I lost my father in 08, 10 years. So you know, I had to become the man of the house quick. You know, took all my frustrations out on the basketball court, so I just fell in love with me getting better. Quinn got his professional start playing with the OKC Thunder and Cleveland Cavaliers Summer League team. He went to training camp with the Cavs only to be waived in preseason. That's when Quinn decided to sign in the G League with the Cavs affiliate, the Canton Charge. He went on to be a G League All-Star and earned the 2016 G League Rookie of the Year. He went on a sign during the 2016 offseason, returned to the G League with the Canton Charge, and became G League All-Star MVP. Back up. He's pulling up. He's pulling up. Then earned a couple 10-day contracts with the Mavs and Pelicans, but didn't get a guaranteed contract. Finally, he made his way to Cali. He landed a two-way contract with the Golden State Warriors and their G League team in Santa Cruz. And this was key because this newly implemented system would allow Quinn to play up to 45 days at the next level if transferred to the Golden State Warriors. He had his foot in the door, as he had many times before. But this time, it was different. Quinn was killing it. He was averaging 25 points and 8 assists while a part of the 50-40-90 club. He was making waves. He had no clue when the call would come, but it didn't matter. He was ready. You never know when or how an opportunity is going to present itself. Bringing the guys, get ready for Honda post game live. Monty and Coletta. Stephen Curry's hurt. Yep, he's got a. Hey, Greg. Uh, 
You know, we all were watching Golden State play New Orleans. We all was in one of our coaches' room. And I think it was the last 20 seconds of the game, Steph rolled his ankle. And then we was in my coach's room. My coach was like, go pack your bags. You know, I was on the first flight to Charlotte, um, and then I was starting the next game. Coach, when you had a seven-foot guy who could score down inside, were you pleased? No, it was fun. It was fun to get out there, get my first career start, something I've dreamed of for a long time. After spending several games with Golden State, Quinn Cook returned to a sold-out crowd in Santa Cruz. This was the beginning of something very special. On the night of March 4th, Quinn Cook, along with his teammates, gave the city of Santa Cruz a performance that they would never forget. You're watching Santa Cruz Warriors basketball in 11 sports. Leading pass for Cook from Bell. Quinn Cook, shot thick. The lob and the finish. Cook off the screen. Rattles one down, 2.2 left. He could put up 50 points tonight if he wanted to without it out. It would be a record. Cook, pull up three. Rain dance. 25 for Cook. Maybe got himself into a tough spot. Cook to the rim. Quinn Runs went on to score 41 points there. Make sure you win and hasn't been back to Santa Cruz ever since. Anytime that I had a situation or opportunity to play in the NBA, I thought I took full advantage of it. Quinn's momentum continues to spill over in each game he plays. He's had over 14 games in double digits. Five of them were over 20 points. He scored a season high 30 points against Milwaukee and hasn't shown any signs of slowing down. It's tough business and I know that and that's why I don't run overseas or I don't you know, give up because I know next year or, or the year after that or the year after that, I know I'm being in the NBA full time. It's not about the money for me, it's the dream. The journey that I've been on has helped me appreciate it more. 10 day coming soon. And I know that you know, my gift is to inspire the next guy. The Warriors and he hasn't even been close to that since. Yeah, Quinn Cook, he was fading behind the backboard and still made that shot. Well, he's comfortable now. 